Okay, so uh, we're trying out a new color. Hope this pinkish doesn't clash with my red shirt too badly. It might be doing that. Uh, we're talking about composition of functions defined by formulas. We've got f of x is x squared plus 5, and g of x is 2x minus 3. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the formula for f composed with g at x. And then we're going to plug minus 5 in for x. So let's go ahead and do that. f composed with g of x. So f composed with g at x is f of g of x, like that. Now it gets complicated. So that's f. g is 2x minus 3, so I just stick it in there like that. That's an easy replacement. And then we have to see what f does. f takes x and changes it to x squared plus 5. So what we'll get here is something squared plus 5. The something's going to be the 2x minus 3 that we use as the argument for f, the g of x. And then we're going to have to multiply that out. Really, 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. So 2x minus 3 squared, uh, you get the 2x squared, you get the minus 3 squared, and you also get 2x times minus 3 two times, because it looks like this, 2x minus 3, 2x minus 3. So you get 2x times each of those, and minus 3 times each of those. So that means you get 2x times minus 3 two times, that's 6x, two times is minus 12x. And not to forget the plus 5, okay. That so that's 4x squared minus 12x plus 14, and then we'll put in minus 5. Okay, here we go. F composed the g then at minus 5 be 4 times minus 5 squared minus 12 times minus 5 plus 14. So minus 5 squared is 25, and times 4 is 100. And minus 12 times minus 5 is 60. So it looks like, I'm checking it, 174 is correct. Now you wouldn't have to find the formula to find f composed with g at minus 5. You can just do it directly. f of g of minus 5 g of minus 5 is minus 13, yes. And I have to give that to f. f is going to square it and add 5. So 13 squared is 169. And 169 plus 4 is 174. 169 plus 5. Yeah, it is. I was worried about that minus sign for a minute. I thought it was minus 169, but it's minus 13 squared. It's 169 plus 5 is 174. So all is good. And then over here it says we should get a different answer for g composed with f because it's the opposite direction. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, g composed with f at x is g of f of x. g looks like that, f looks like that. So we go g of x squared plus 5. And then g is twice the thing plus 3. So twice the thing, oh sorry, minus 3. x squared plus 5. So you get 2x squared plus 10 minus 3. So it's 2x squared plus 7. So over here, we did f composed with g. We got this quadratic formula. And over here, with g composed with f, totally different idea. Uh, still quadratic, but it's a totally different uh, formula. And then we go ahead and plug in minus 5. g composed with f at minus 5. 
That's going to be the same number, right? So we should get a different answer. Well, we got 174 over here. So we get uh, 2 times minus 5 squared plus 7, which is at 25 times 2 is 50 plus 7, 57. And as we said over here, we didn't need the formula to get g composed with f. We could, uh, at minus 5, we could write it out directly. g of f of minus 5. Oh dear, f of, my, here's f. f of minus 5 is 30. Minus 5 squared is 25, plus 5 is 30. And g takes 30, multiplies it by 2, and then subtracts 3. So that's 60 minus 3, which we are happy to see is the 57 that we got last time. Oh, we finished this. Okay, there we go. So let's see. Um, recap. We, looking at the composition of functions defined by formulas, we ch looked at f of x and g of x. We found the composition by composing their formulas. So we put in place of g here, the formula for g. And then we had to do this thing to it, because it's f of that. So we had to square it and add 5. So we squared it and added 5. We had to do some algebra. Uh, we got this. And then when we evaluated that at minus 5, I just put minus 5 in place of x here, here. It's squared there. Parentheses are helpful. It's negative. They're still helpful. Um, multiply it out and add. I got 174. Uh, alternatively, if you didn't care about finding the formula, uh, you can go ahead and just put minus 5 into the composition. And then g of minus 5 was minus 13. And then we put that into f minus 13 squared plus 5, get 174. And we follow the same process over here. Uh, now we have g composed with f instead of f composed with g. And we run through that whole range of things, getting a different number, a different formula. But the same answer, independent of how we compute a g composed with f at minus 5. Either way, you can get a hold of the answer. OK. I'm not sure I'm in love with this new color. But maybe I'll give it another go. I'll have to see what it looks like once it's uh, processed. And I hope the focus was good. Things like that. See you in a minute.